Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. Today, <laughs> you put them on there sideways. Well, we'll have to cut them like that. These are two big pin oaks, and I'm gonna cut three inch thick cookies out of those. Hopefully, they're solid enough. I mean, I got them on four inches of wood, but I may have to screw them into it. I don't know. Because the bottom, you know, it's not perfectly flat where it was cut. So, we'll see. I could put some wedges under there or something. But yeah, that's what we're doing. It's a beautiful day out today. It is just gorgeous. I mean, the trees are green. The leaves haven't filled in fully yet, but uh, there's no airplanes. <laughs> Do you know what they were doing? They had one plane towing a glider all day long. That's what they were, they were taking a glider up and letting the guy come down, taking it back up. That's what they were doing. All righty. One of these is taller than the other one, so I'm gonna take a cut off it first. I am up as high as I can go. And that's a long way up. All right, let's uh, let's take a look. Yeah, oh, there it is. You can see there's some pretty cool patterns in this one. I mean, it's a pin oak. There was a branch that was cut off there and all kinds of swirls. I'm gonna throw some water on this. Stay tuned. Okay, so there's some of the cutoffs. I mean, you can see here, I'll show you from the side. Yeah, that's real thin. That's only an inch. That's a three inch one over there. That's a good one. These are just the tops of the logs. But I wanted to throw water on them, show you what the wood looks like. Except for the sun, 
It looks pretty good. Here's that cut off branch I was showing you. Look at all the squigglies. Wow. That is curly. <laughs> so this is a big pin oak. Let's see. These are, oh, about 27, 28 inches. Yeah, call it 27. So they're pretty big. Make a nice end table. I don't know, I didn't have any cookies, so I figured, hey, why not? There's a bit of dirt. Cutting them three inch thick. I know someone's gonna ask, why are you cutting them so thick? They're three inches thick. I'd cut them four inches thick, but I wouldn't be able to pick them up. This is pin oak. Pin oak, well, let's see. Pine is like, white pine I think is 42 pounds per cubic foot. Sugar maple's like 65. Pin oak is 80. This is really dense, heavy wood. I mean. 80 pounds per cubic foot. Yeah, you can tell. These got to be 80 pounds each. How many cubic feet in a 27 inch circle? It's three inches thick. Oh, yeah. I don't know where I'm going to stack cookies. Maybe when the guys come over, we'll just eat them. Hey guys, look, I made cookies. What's that? You want to see the wood again? It hasn't changed much. Let's take another cut, then I'll show you the wood.
That was nine inches of wood there. <laughs> oh, that's not what it sounds like. How about I show you guys the wood? Yeah, there's a branch that was cut off. It doesn't matter where I go, there's going to be a shadow, okay? Just deal with it. There's another branch. Look at all the squiggly stuff in there. That is so cool. Look, it curls around. And then this one. Look at that. Now there's shadow. Come on. There you go. Now you probably got the sun in your eyes glaring at you. Look, there's like a ring of lighter colored with, it just goes back and forth. I mean, it's so cool. So a lot of people don't care for pin oak. I love it. Pin oak is one of the prettiest woods. So there's two more cookies you can see. They're both cut three inches. So good cookies. Yum. Look, you can really see that lighter ring there. It's like the second ring around Neptune, you know? Okay, so I need your help with something, guys. I'm not a logger. I mean, you know, I'm a hobbyist. I have three oak logs, or at least I think they're three oak logs. One is a swamp oak, one is a white oak, and the other is a mystery to me. Here's one of them. So this is log number one. There's the bark. There's the other side. Okay, it's got kind of a ring around it here, a sap ring or something. It's darker there, see? So that's one, that's log number one. Is log number two. This one has a bunch of branches at this end, but it also has that sap ring. And it looks very, very similar. There's the other end. The only other possibility is that log there. I think that's oak. Could be pin oak. Show you the other side of it. That's it. That's log number three. So we had one over there. We had two over here. This is that great big one with all the branches. That's number two. So we're looking at number two there. And then that is number three. So one, two, three. Which one is a swamp oak? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's try and finish these.
cool knots. It's got the light ring again. I wonder, I'll have to count how many of those rings. If I had to guess, I'd say 70, maybe 75. I love wet wood. I smashed my finger under the lock, under the cookie. You ever have a cookie crush your finger? That is a pile of cookies. Look at my poor little skidster. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, you can see, comes up to my chest. Well, almost. Comes up above my belly. How's that? Yeah. That's some cookies. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I need a beer bad okay so that's where i ended up stacking them i had no place else to put them i put them in my front yard but you can see i i did band them i should hold them together at least those are big those are really big cookies i was surprised how heavy they were anyway thanks how come it's so dark there you go Thanks for watching, hope you had fun.